Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Illustrate and define transversal line. Determine the relationship between pairs of angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. These are alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, same side interior angles, same side exterior angles, and corresponding angles. Let's have a quick review of our previous lesson. React thumbs up if the statement is true and thumbs down if the statement is false. Number one, parallel lines sometimes intersect. This is thumbs down. Number two, all perpendicular lines form right angles. This is thumbs up. Number three, all perpendicular lines are intersecting lines. This is thumbs up. How about we interchange? All intersecting lines are perpendicular lines. This is thumbs down. Last one, coincident lines have one point of intersection. This is thumbs down. Let us define transversal. It is a line that intersects two or more coplanar lines in different points. Let's have a pair of lines. And this is a transversal. It intersects the lines into two different points. Let's have another pair of lines. Here is a transversal. It intersects the lines into two different points. Lines cut by a transversal may be parallel or not parallel lines. But on this video lesson, we are going to focus our discussion on parallel lines cut by a transversal. Let's have the first one, alternate interior angles. These are two non-adjacent interior angles on opposite sides of the transversal. When we say alternate, it's like left and right, meaning not on the same side. When we say interior, it means inside. Here are parallel lines. Notice these arrowheads here. It means they are parallel. This portion is the interior. Again, when we say alternate, one on the left and one on the right. So let us get an angle on the left side that is in between these two lines. So let's have this one. Its partner should be on the other side because alternate, but is still in between these two lines. So this is the angle. So angle L, O, A, and angle O, a, H are alternate interior angles and they are congruent. Let's have another pair. Let us get from the right side, this one, and its pair is on the left side, this one. So angle E, O, A and angle O, A, M are alternate interior angles and they are also congruent. So from here, when parallel lines is cut by a transversal, they form two pairs of alternate interior angles. And these two pairs of alternate interior angles are congruent. The next one is alternate exterior angles. These are two non-adjacent exterior angles on opposite sides of the transversal. So you already know the meaning of alternate. This time when we say exterior, it is outside. So again, this is the interior part. Therefore, the exterior part is this portion as well as this portion. So let us get an angle on the left side on the exterior part. Its partner should be on the right side, also exterior. So angle L, O, V and angle H, A, T are alternate exterior angles and they are congruent. Let's have another pair. Let's get this time an angle on the right side and its alternate is on the left side and this will be that angle. Angle V, O, E and angle M, A, T are alternate exterior angles and they are congruent. So once again, parallel lines 
cut by a transversal forms two pairs of alternate exterior angles. And these alternate exterior angles are also congruent. The third one is same side interior angles. These are two interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Once again, interior, so we're going to get a pair of angles in between parallel lines. Let's start with the left side. Let us have this angle. Since same side, we're going to get another angle on this side, on the left side. So angle LOA and angle OAM are same side interior angles. And when you add angle LOA and angle OAM, their measurements is equal to 180 degrees. Let's get another pair, this time from the right side. So let us have this angle. And its pair on the same side interior is this angle. Angle EOA and angle OAH are same side interior angles. And when you add their measurements, it is also equal to 180 degrees. So parallel lines cut by a transversal forms two pairs of same side interior angles. And these two pairs of same side interior angles are supplementary because when you add their measurements, it is equal to 180 degrees. The next one is same side exterior angles. So these are two exterior angles on the same side of the transversal. So again, here is our transversal. This time, we're looking for same side exterior angles. So exterior, this portion, as well as this portion. Let's have first on the left side, this one. And its partner will be this one. Same side exterior angles. So angle LOV and angle MAT are same side exterior angles. And when you add these two angles, it will be equal to 180 degrees. Let's get another pair. This time on the right side, this one. And pair with this one. Same side, exterior angles. So angle VOE and angle HAT are same side, exterior angles. And when you add them, it will be also equal to 180 degrees. So parallel lines cut by a transversal forms two pairs of same side exterior angles. And the pairs of same side exterior angles are supplementary because when you add their measurements, it will be equal to 180 degrees. The last one is corresponding angles. These are two non-adjacent angles on the same side of the transversal such that one is an interior angle and the other one is an exterior angle. So same side but one inside and the other one outside. So here is our transversal line. Let us get one from the outside and another one on the inside. So angle LOV and angle MAO are corresponding angles and they are congruent. Let's have another pair. This time on the right side, its partner is this angle. One on the exterior, one on the interior, but on the same side. Angle VOE and angle OAH are corresponding angles, and they are congruent. Do we have another pairs here? Yes, we do. Let's have this one. One on the interior, and its partner is on the exterior. So angle LOA and angle MAT are corresponding angles. Of course, they are also congruent. Last pair. We have this one, interior, and its partner on the exterior. Angle EOA and angle HAT are corresponding angles, and they are congruent. So from here, parallel lines 
cut by a transversal form four pairs of corresponding angles. And these angles are congruent. Let's have an activity, the pair of us. Identify the pair of angles. CA for corresponding angles. AIA for alternate interior angles. AEA for alternate exterior angles. SSIA for same side interior angles. And SSEA for same side exterior angles. So number 1, angle 1 and angle 14. Here is angle 1 and here is angle 14. This is the transversal line, then they are on the opposite sides, meaning alternate. And looking at the position, they are on the exterior part. So these are alternate exterior angles. Next one, angle 4 and angle 12. Here is angle 4 and here is angle 12. They are on the same side. And one exterior, one interior. Therefore, these are corresponding angles. Number three, angle 13 and angle 16. So here is the transversal line. They are on the same sides and they are both at the exterior. So we have same side exterior angles. Next one, angle 7. And angle 12. Here is the transversal line. They are on the opposite side, so alternate. Both of them are on the interior. So alternate interior angles. And last one, angle 10 and angle 11. Here is the transversal. They are on the same side and they are both on the interiors. So, same side interior angles. Let us do extra challenge. Though our lines do not have arrowheads, it is in the given that line X is parallel with line Y and line V is parallel with line W. The measurement of angle G is 100. So, where is G? Here it is. This is 100 degrees. The measurement of angle K is 30 degrees. Here is angle K and this is 30 degrees. We are going to find the measurements of the following. Number one, the measurement of angle I. Here is angle I. If this is 100, then definitely this is also 100 degrees. Why? Alternate interior angles are congruent. So we have here 100 degrees. Next one, measurement of angle J. Here is angle J. This is a straight line and a straight line creates 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 100 is 80 minus 30 is 50. Therefore, this remaining angle here is 50 degrees. So we have 50 degrees. Next, angle M. So here is angle M. 50 plus 30 from here up to here is 80 degrees. If this is 80 degrees, then angle M is also 80 degrees because they are corresponding angles. Here are the parallel lines and this is the transversal. So this is the interior angle and this is the exterior angle. So angle M is 80 degrees. Next one, angle E. Here is angle E. Line V and line W are parallel lines and this is a transversal. So if this is 50 degrees, then this is also 50 degrees. Alternate interior angles. So this one is 50 degrees. Last one is angle C. Here is angle C. If this is 100 degrees, then this is 80 degrees. If this is 80 degrees, then it follows angle C is 100 degrees because they are same side interior angles. So this is 100 degrees. Here is the summary of what we discussed. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time.
Let us answer. So we have here two parallel lines and also here two parallel lines. And the measurement of angle 16 is 115 degrees. Here is 16, so this is 115 degrees. Let us find the measure of the following. Number 1, angle 14. So if these are parallel lines cut by a transversal, then these two are corresponding angles. One in the exterior and the other one is the interior. And corresponding angles are congruent. Therefore, angle 14 is also 115 degrees. Next one, angle 6. Here is angle 6. These are parallel lines and this is the transversal. Then one in the inside and the other one on the outside. These are corresponding angles. Therefore, angle 6 is also 115 degrees because corresponding angles are congruent. Next one is angle 9. Here is angle 9. You have two ways to determine the measurement of angle 9. One is it is vertical with 115 degrees. And the other one, they are alternate interior angles of angle 6. So either way, angle 9 measures 115 degrees as well. So this is 150 degrees. Next one, angle 2. Here is angle 2. If this is 115 degrees, this is a straight line, then this one is 65 degrees. Angle 2, 65 degrees. Last one is angle 8. Angle 8 is in here. Parallel lines cut by a transversal. One on the inside, the other one on the outside. These are corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are congruent. Therefore, angle 8 is also 115 degrees. Gets? Our next lesson is construction using compass and a straight edge.